How's it going mini lads? Turbo Concept here into this game. My account age is 9 to 6 days old and we're inside of, I mean that must be the outside of Rick Hendrick's Chevrolet dealership and we're today, we cannot able to go inside until I just got kicked out of this game so we should not able to do for just absolutely for outside of the dealership. Let's just completely spawn some cars and I got banned in some sort of a a bad client as well. We cannot be able to buy cars, so I'm not allowed to go inside of this well. So we're gonna be talking all cars since that General Motors allows Roblox around all Greenville and Southwest Florida, and not even except for underrated games as well. We're gonna be spawning some cars. And started with the 2001. So let's say all cars around around this game probably that I just so. And you bet it must be some sort of a scam or something. So we're gonna be getting inside. So you remember of this truck when the start of the game were just like this one by the final release of the green belt completely automatically purchase this vehicle and completely start able to drive around for this first thing as well and then we just decided to start driving we just lower down and set to volume to three as well so as you can see of the in-game of Greenville that eventually removes it and looks like letting the vehicle is going to be deleted as well so even to do this with absolutely what I just tried to say we have to stop the vehicle and what I just absolutely tried to say park your vehicle in towards like this thing as well before it gets dark and this game has an age counter we possibly we have and another one if I just gonna be going to spawn again the car despawns nothing I guess the next one is no image available let's spawn the Buick Roadmaster if I just completely spawn the previous vehicle has been despawned as well so we eventually spawn the Buick Roadmaster and what exactly that I just never get to be holding like this thing as well that absolutely removed as well including the Buick GSX being removed from Driving Empire we're only able to get inside as well because since that doesn't get to be making matters even worse it's undrivable but since if i just gonna be try to drive as well unfortunately that deactivates as well so the next one is we're gonna be spawning somewhere like this thing the beta k2500 is what available things to do this as well so this is the gmc k2500 beta this is absolutely GMC Sierra. We're going to be jumping inside of the vehicle and it absolutely works for driving like a chassis as well. This car is becoming a little bit expired, but since before it gets dark as very fast as possible. So the next spawn will be somewhere over here, the Volvo CX90. So I'm not pretty sure that this vehicle is being removed somewhere other kinds of games as well and not especially like this thing Volvo has been removed from other kinds of popularity games that we able to drive it's also drivable except Buick Roadmaster and I probably need to do that must be the Swedish vehicle the Swedish civilian vehicle has got to be has being removed somewhere so the next one is with Chevrolet 454 SS Cabrio Chevelle and that must be some sort of a roadster version that I'll be able to be driving for this one time I'm probably this isn't gonna be very sure that is already drivable so looks like I just completely driving on to the wrong side of this thing as well it's another drivable thing as well and it has a manual transmission or except for some sort of sequential transmission which is absolutely leave this car here and without driving any cars as well so let's just doing for the Chevrolet Suburban Z71 every image is no longer available around yet we come here the 
the Chevelle has been despawned and the most favorite thing is you're gonna be driving a Chevy Suburban with this old some sort of 90s family the late outdated 90s family car whatever we do we're just gonna be using a sequential transmission for some sort of a pre-road trip car that which is eventually jumping out of this thing as well you can't sprint as well the sun has already down the next is the avalanche so what is absolutely the 2008 avalanche it must be the chevrolet avalanche as well so this is absolutely the big suv as well based on chevy tahoe or suburban we should be able to get inside of this vehicle that is the 2008 version the early two years of this one thing so we would recommend it to drive up this vehicle instead of asia vehicles as well this is for the national american vehicle as well that you might able to recommend it that you might drive this in roblox as well in southwest ohio so we already do this as well what did I just probably missed around for many more of these things as well next is the Mercedes 560 SEL which is I eventually spawned there I'm not recommended to drive this vehicle what on earth of this vehicle is this some sort of an Asia vehicle as well this is an American vehicle as we possibly speak that vehicle being exported around the world and probably being recommended to drive this vehicle isn't gonna be worth it as possible next is the Chevrolet K3500 it is another unavailable vehicle as well and due to some sort of inappropriacy as well and my client change isn't gonna be really possible so this is the 1980 1998 Chevy Silverado 1500. I have to rejoin of this game and it's not gonna be working. As you can see, it's still working about of these things, but unavailable vehicles aren't spawnable, so the K3500 is unspawnable as well. So I just eventually tried to spawn the Chevy Tahoe and oh dear. We don't have anything that we able to say. We spawn anything as well. And that doesn't slightly going to be even the work. So let's just scroll down. And oh dear, I have to rejoin for just right now. There are no game passes on this game. Where possibly that we have anything that we just going to be doing for a last couple of coding as well. So let's just pretty spawn the k3500 or something like it's gonna be a glitch so that doesn't gonna be recommended that is unspawnable and where that I just completely spawn all the way down here and we're unable to spawn like this thing so it definitely works around here we're just somewhere let's just get in the new Tahoe and what is probably that we expected we really to do we're using sequential transmission and I just literally smashed right here I think this is going to be the new model but that takes down for a newly GM vehicles we're very sure that we just absolutely recommend it to using around for the old ones for the unauthorized use so we couldn't unable to spawn something like this one before and I'm not sure that we're just gonna be spawning anywhere I guess so finally it has already spawned the Chevrolet I'm probably I'm not sure that we're just gonna be jumping inside of this vehicle I'm almost lost my mind anywhere it does completely work with sound effects but the fastest acceleration is probably really ridiculous that should be a band car as well so looks like I'm just gonna be jumping out of the vehicle and instead of just gonna be going around for many more itself to do this 
So the bad thing is unable to spawn is the 1500, the K1500 Silverado is not working anyways. So unfortunately we're unable to spawn this car anytime soon and it's not going to be alright I guess. We're already spawned as well but the last car is the Silverado 1500 and that is the ZL1. The C71 Chevrolet Silverado is some sort of a new version instead of an old one as well. So, and that eventually removes today and another one that we're seeing of this self or that must be Chevrolet Silverado as well. But what about the Chevrolet Colorado? It's not going to be very recommended to do this. It's not such as an Asian vehicle. We're just going to be completely able to drive for as well. But unfortunately, the numbers were censored out of this one dirty mind. So, let's just go in for Buick Roadmaster itself. And it looks like I'm unable to drive of this vehicle because it's not pretty drivable as well so as you can see this this vehicle is undrivable as well so we're gonna be seeing the Chevrolet K1500 and K3500 1994 we're no longer available for anything about this thing so looks like we're gonna be end of this video of all cars that you've been drive and we're never able to be seeing around for this any more vehicles and that you just completely able to drive for many more like these things as well. So we cannot use the Chevelle and I recommend it to use the Suburban I guess. And that will be the end of this video as well. And we're probably making for this out in the future as well. So I'll be driving around through and because all of a sudden we're speeding up to 200 miles per hour as well. So, it's going to be pretty the end of this video for a long time of this thing as well. So, there must be seeing other kinds of vehicles. And that is just beware of all cost of the Pacifica reference. The sun has already setting down. And let's just go into pull up into the garage so if you like for today's video about driving around for some sort of outside of Chevrolet dealership the game is linked in the description down below before you might able to drive some sort of enthusiastic cars thanks for watching and for all your support that we just eventually pulling out the Chevrolet and cause some incidents over here and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and click that bell for more notifications on and I'll see you down into our next video that we just popped up the hood open. And looks like thanks for watching and for all your support. And this is going to be Turbo Concept is signing off. And I'll talk to you mini lads all later.